Hey everyone, Jesse here. Wanted to show an update on the Johnson Sioux bioreactor. And so if you don't know, this is just a pile of carbon rich material. Um, I have a lot of leaves and all compost and like the steer manure from Home Depot. Uh, so pretty much on its way, uh, but you could fill it up with wood chips. Uh, that's a good option um, or any you know, straw or something along those lines, anything carbon rich. Um, so it's about a five foot circle wire welded fence or some kind of fence and then landscape fabric around it. And in the middle, you have holes that cover about every foot or so. So ideally there's air going in within a foot of these holes and that just helps the uh, fungal breakdown of the soil and after a year um, so you'll water it every day um, put it on a timer because otherwise you'll probably forget but you want to keep it pretty uh, soaked um, so you water it every day and within a year um, you'll have the best compost uh, possible um, these are some of the pipes I think these are four inch three to four inch PVC pipes with holes in them and that starts the holes in here once it settles um, and you'll be able to take them out after a while. And so I would say that uh, so far, oh, and one other thing is that you would want to put uh, compost worms in here. Uh, the compost worms really like it. And every time I dig up something, I find compost worms and fire ants for that matter. So you can see right here, already have compost worms. Usually the fire ants will eat them, but uh, I think I just keep adding them because I have a bin inside. So I will keep adding them and hopefully over time they will do enough good work that the ant won't be able to kill them all. Um, another thing that I'm testing out is I put some hairy vetch seeds in there. I don't see it growing yet, but we'll see if that works. Uh, that kind of a layer of something alive, uh, some kind of cover crop will just help the process as well. Uh, typically either people will cap the top with landscape fabric or something else to help hold in moisture, uh, wood chips for that matter. So I found some mushrooms, put some mushrooms in there, see if I could get something going. Uh, biochar, I had biochar from um, making it and I put that in the fish tanks and then also uh, once it was done you know ground it up uh, and put it in here so all sorts of random stuff that I put in here algae leaves all that stuff so we'll see how it how it works after about a year maybe it's just like a giant uh, worm bin outside and you don't want it to freeze so if you're somewhere where it gets uh, colder then you would want to start it kind of in the spring after freeze thaw is done and um, and then hopefully by the uh, next season next winter um, it's ready to go so with that uh, that's the update on the compost bioreactor i'll probably make some smaller ones just because i have the pipes i have plenty of material left so it'd be easy to make some smaller compost systems and maybe they're just outdoor worm bins at this point